Hello grade 12s and welcome to this lesson on logarithmic functions. A logarithmic function is an inverse of an exponential function. Remember that in an inverse function the x and y change positions. Let's explore this a little more. Here is the exponential function. y is equal to a to the power of x. The inverse would be x is equal to a to power y. To make y the subject, we express the function in logarithmic form. y is equal to log of x to base a. Let's examine this relationship a bit closer by looking at an exponential function and its inverse. Here is the exponential function of y equals 2 to the power of x. It has an asymptote of y equals 0 and a y-intercept of 0, 1. It is also an increasing function. This exponential function is a relatively easy one to plot. Let's find its inverse now. The original function was y equals 2 to the power of x. The inverse would be x equals 2 to the power of y. We use logarithms to make y the subject of the formula. This gives us y is equal to log of x to base 2. Now, let's plot this using a table. We'll do this by substituting values for x and finding the values of y. Let's start by substituting x equals a quarter. This means that y is equal to log of a quarter to base 2. We can express it as log of 2 to the power of 2. Using the exponent's law in logarithms, we can write it as negative 2 log 2 to base 2. We know that log 2 to base 2 gives us 1. Therefore, y is equal to negative 2. This means the first coordinate is a quarter, negative 2. We can use the same method to calculate the next few coordinates. These coordinates are half negative 1, 1, 0, 2, 1, 4, 2, 8, 3, 16, 4. Now let's plot these points on a set of axes. As we can see, this function is also increasing. It has an asymptote of x equals 0 and an x-intercept of 1, 0. Let's draw a conclusion about the base and the shape of the graph. This graph has a base of more than 1 and is increasing. This means that when the base is more than 1, the logarithmic function will increase. Let's look at a logarithmic function with a base of a half. We can see from this function that when the base is between 0 and 1, the graph will decrease. There are some other properties we should know about in logarithmic functions. The domain of a logarithmic function is all positive real numbers. It is never zero or negative. The range of the logarithmic function is all real numbers. And x equals zero, otherwise known as the y-axis, is the asymptote of the logarithmic function. Now let's use our first logarithmic function to answer a question. The first question asks, for which values of x is g of x less than or equal to 0? The question requires us to look for values of x values below the x-axis. The x values that are below the x-axis are between 0 and 1. So our answer is 0 less than x less than or equal to 1. We cannot include 0 in the inequality as this is the asymptote. Let's try another question together. Determine the asymptote of f if f of x is equal to g of x minus 2. x minus 2 represents a horizontal shift of 2 units to the right, so our asymptote and all other coordinates will move 2 to the right. f has been plotted on the same set of axes as g. We can see that the asymptote has also moved 2 units to the right. The asymptote for f is x equal to 2. Did you notice that the x-intercept also moved? It's now 3, 0. 
Now let's try to find the equation of a plotted logarithmic function. This logarithmic function has plotted points, point A at 1, 0, and point B at 4, 1. The graph is increasing, so the base is greater than 1, and the asymptote is at x equals 0. So let's start with the basic formula. f of x is equal to log of x to base a. Substituting using point B, we get 1 is equal to log of 4 to base a. Let us use the exponents to solve for a. 1 is equal to log of 4 to base a becomes a to the exponent 1 is equal to 4. Therefore, a is equal to 4. Let's substitute the value of a back into our formula. Therefore, f of x is equal to log of x to base 4. Thank you for joining us, grade 12s. Remember to look at the questions for this section in the exponential and logarithmic functions task video. You will also be able to learn more on exponents and logarithms on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.